Greetings, Clarifiles and Clarifilettes. I hope your summer's going well. Yeah, as well as it can be going, and considering no one's allowing you to be going anywhere except home, okay? Well, this is exceptional time, but we still can't let this get us down. We can still use the opportunity to do a lot of housekeeping, uh, and I don't mean dusting, I mean a lot of stuff as clarinet players to, you know, improve every aspect of our playing. So, uh, and I have some videos uh, planned coming up, but this one's going to be really short, so I don't want to take much of your, more of your time. But I do have a question for you, but it has to be preceded by asking you another question, and that is, have you ever, like, constantly told someone to do something, and then all of a sudden you catch yourself doing the same thing? Well, I find that was my case a few days ago. I always tell my wife when she comes home from the supermarket and she buys something, I'd say, did you read the label on this? Normally she doesn't. And usually it has stuff that's really off of our diet. So uh, anyway, we we'll probably feed it to the dog. Is What? Or the cat. You feed it to the cat. That's what we do. Uh, anyway, uh, it's important to read labels. Labels are important. And I found that out or was reminded of that myself when I decided to, after years and years, read the label on this. Now, you all know what this is, right? Yeah. It's in literally thousands of band rooms, thousands of teaching studios. I've used this stuff for years. Haven't you? Well, I'm going to read a label to you. The contents, alcohol. Contains alcohol. Do not use on rubber mouthpiece or other rubber-based parts. Huh? Did you ever read that? Yeah. I didn't. I guess I'm one of the lucky ones. I should be dead by now. I've used this so much. And you may be in the same boat. Well, we'll consider ourselves lucky. Now, I don't know exactly what this means. Can't really quite, you know, figure it out. It may not be safe for some composite materials as well. There's a whole list of warnings here. Check with the manufacturer, instrument manufacturer. In case of ingestion, seek professional assistance or contact a poison control center immediately. And you put this in your mouth. So, I don't know about you, but I don't think I'll be using this anymore. I certainly won't be drinking it unless things get a lot worse. And, um... So I'll try to figure out some good way to sterilize mouthpieces other than this. One of the best ways that comes to mind immediately is to have a spray bottle of um, hydrogen peroxide. Now, hydrogen peroxide is not just for blondes. Hydrogen peroxide will sterilize and kill all kinds of things. It's primarily a disinfectant, and it has like hundreds and hundreds of uses. Some people brush their teeth with it. Sometimes you can find it actually in toothpastes that promote that, you know, whitening and all that. So that might be a good alternative to this. Now, I, I don't know what the damage might be or what might ensue from heavy use of this, but I would uh, recommend that probably if they say don't put it on a rubber mouthpiece, don't put it on a rubber mouthpiece. And um, find something else. Hydrogen peroxide first comes to mind. Now, if any of you happen to have the suggestion of what to do, how to sterilize your mouthpieces, how to keep from passing on pandemics and 
other things like the, the Black Death or whatever, then uh, make the comment below. Help us all, help us all learn better what to do to keep us all safe, <clears throat> keep our mouthpieces all sterile, so we don't get colds, so we don't, you know, tra um, transfer our colds or or flu or other things, uh, heebie-jeebies, uh, and so on and so forth. We don't transfer that to other people. Okay? And, uh, oh, by the way, I want to uh, remind everyone that we have this big celebration sale because we have over 5,000 subscribers now, and it's been going on all July. We're getting some good responses, and we really appreciate that. Uh, but uh, that sale is going to end in just a handful of days, on July 31st, and then um, we will have to, we're going to have to raise our C clarinet price because uh, shipping expenses and other expenses have now, I don't know for what reasons, I think the pandemic has got some reason to, something to do with it, but the prices have gone up. So uh, please um, make sure that if you really want a, a great C clarinet, or if you uh, if you want a fantastic bargain on, uh, like our Noblissima clarinet, that's the bargain of the century. Uh, our uh, low E flat bass clarinet, just you know, so many other products. Uh, our homage mouthpiece. Uh, better get on the ball right now because you can save yourself, you know, a good fifteen twenty percent or more on these products, including the reed finishing system. And, other things that we have that are constantly good selling products. Uh, okay, well, this is a lot longer than I planned it to be, so uh, sorry about that. Uh, and I will get on to preparing a few more uh, presentations to come up in the future, in the near future. In the meantime, you guys stay safe. Practice your clarinet, practice your scales. Make sure you practice those long tones. It's very, very important. See ya.